All right, to check the accumulator pre-charge, you will need a six millimeter Allen wrench and maybe a cheater pipe. And what you're gonna do is let's pretend that this is a pressure line accumulator. So a pressure line accumulator is gonna have more pre-charge than a tank accumulator. So step one, you're gonna take the protective cap off if there is one. The accumulator must be this style thread and lock nut. Okay, so we're gonna start by carefully cracking loose the nut, not relieving all the pressure out. So just get it loose enough, okay? Should, you should hear no nitrogen coming out of the accumulator. Okay, and step two, you must take off the tank line gauge because it will ruin the gauge. It will spike the pressure and it will be no good. So we're gonna pop this off. The with... difference between the tank line and the, and the pressure line gauge is the tank line only goes up to 60 PSI and the pressure gauge goes up to 2000 PSI. They're also marked with these labels. You can read that. Okay, so we're gonna take this off Set it aside. You don't, I don't think you have to put this cap on, but we will for good measure. Okay. And then this O-ring has to fit inside of this diameter. So it's gonna sit in here like this. If you can't get it to fit in, uh, take some grease on your finger and walk it in. It'll, it'll sit there on its own. So it's not staying in, but I'll make sure when we send it, it will. So if you look at the top, this turns freely either way and goes up, up and down. What I like to do is push it down first, line it up with the hex on this screw, okay? Let it sit down, and we're gonna take this and turn it in tight, okay? This needs to be engaged with the nut that's under there because this will open that nut and allow the fluid out to the gauge so you can measure the pressure.